Ben Shapiro goes on to Fox News to talk about the Daily Wire being one of the plaintiffs in the case that got the vaccine mandate for the employers knocked down at the Supreme Court. Let's bring in uh, Ben Shapiro, who is actually knows what it's like to win a lot. He's the host of the Ben Shapiro Winning. Uh, show, podcast, and he's editor of the Daily Wire. And he created the whole thing and moved it, uh, moved it across the country. Uh, ben, how does it feel to take on the government and win? And we here at Daily Wire are really excited about this. I mean, the fact is that we really put our money where our mouth was. We spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to fight the Biden vax mandate in court. We were the first company in America to file a federal lawsuit against the Biden vax mandate on major businesses. And uh, watching them going down in flaming. In 2015, Ben Shapiro tweeted out that he spent the day watching my fully vaccinated 13-month-old cough until blue with uh, pertussis. Is that how you say that? I have no fucking clue what that is. Because others didn't get vaccinated. Thanks, dolts. We did it at 8.02 p.m. on February the 26th, 2015. Ben Shapiro knows how vaccination works. I mean, defeat is, is well worth that, that cost. Uh, Joe Biden, by the way, his, his approval rating, he, he, more people now like certain types of bowel cancer than like Joe Biden at this point. I think that's well deserved. Wow. Well, isn't he just witty? What the Supreme Court said yesterday, uh, it will be up to every business now. I should have took his a, a screenshot. They are have a, a mandate, but it won't be mandated. Selling T-shirts now. Osha. They it's are selling T-shirts. They've done it all along, but they're selling T-shirts like I didn't comply. Gloating about their victory at the Supreme Court. The Daily Wire is selling T-shirts off of this. It has nothing to do with what is factually correct. It has nothing to do with what is good for public health. It's only what is in the best financial interest of the Daily Wire and Ben Shapiro's goddamn wallet. Thank you, Zazie. I hope I got that right. Welcome. Thank you for being a freaking follower company so going forward we heard this morning that apparently citibank based in new york city they're they're going to keep the mandate uh they've got 99 percent of their fox news kept the mandate they say, you know what we think it's a good policy so it's going to be up to every company now to decide how they're going to uh manage this pandemic going forward because we've seen the vaccines are not as effective perhaps as we were sold so people have got to figure out how to manage coronavirus, maybe forever. Well, this is one of the big problems here, is that the vaccines are not preventing infection. They are preventing hospitalization and death, and that's wonderful and very important, right. but they're not preventing infection. That's how vaccines work. Once again, once again, Ben Shapiro knows this. Spent the day watching my fully vaccinated 13-month-old cough until blue with pertussis because others didn't get vaccinated. Thanks, dolts. Ben Shapiro knows how vaccines work. It is disgusting. Absolutely craven. Hold on. And all it is is a fucking money-making scam. How do right-wingers fall for this? Is the Daily Wire celebrate your victory against cover, uh, government overreach and style? Did not comply. Shop.dailywire.com. It's all a fucking business. They don't give a shit about you. They are lying to you. They are lying to you for their own fucking profit. Stop following. Uh, f stop falling for it. Which means that a lot of these vax mandates, which were designed to slow the spread, don't in fact achieve their stated purpose. And what the government... They do! They do! Slow the spread! You, if you are vaccinated, there is a much smaller window in which you are contagious, in which you are able to spread the virus. Being vaccinated helps stop new fucking variants from emerging. You're an idiot. You're not an idiot. You're not an idiot. You're doing it on purpose. I have the evidence that you know how vaccination works. You understand herd immunity because we heard, we heard them all talk about herd immunity early on in the pandemic. Now they don't even fucking know what it is. It was essentially put 
businesses completely underground. I mean, destroy the businesses. If you didn't force your employees to vax or regularly tested mask, we weren't willing to do that mm-hmm. at Daily Wire. And I can tell you that our, our Daily Wire... They are at Fox. People were crying as they watched the decision come down because people literally thought that they were going to lose their jobs over this sort of stuff. And it was not just our employees. I mean, they're, they're literally tens of... He, he said it. Now, most right-wingers leave off the testing part. You didn't have to get vaccinated. All you had to do was take a test. What Was it weekly or daily? I don't even remember what it was. Perfectly reasonable. Perfectly reasonable. People were crying because they thought they were going to lose their jobs because they might have to be tested for the deadly fucking respiratory disease that's going around. Oh my God. Cry me a fucking river, you snowflakes millions of people across the country who felt exactly the same way. So we're proud to have stood for that, and we're certainly glad the Supreme Court ruled the right way on this. By the way, it is worth noting here that if not for the fact that President Trump was able to appoint three justices, there is no question that the administrative state would be able to do whatever... There is no question that reasonable justices would have ruled in favor of the precedent. And if you read the OSHA law, it is clearly clearly within their power to regulate shit in the workplace to protect workers. Like, it it is there. Congress granted them that authority. And even the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court said it's not... It's not that the mandate is unconstitutional. It's that Congress has to do it. That Congress has to do it. But Congress had delegated that power through OSHA. It's just we've got asshole fucking judges, three appointed by Trump, that shouldn't fucking be there, that are illegitimate. That just made up bullshit. The hell it wants in this country? There were three leftist judges on the Supreme Court who said that OSHA could, with pretty much no statutory authority, create a vax mandate for 100 million workers. Those same three justices said last year that the CDC could just issue eviction moratoria indefinitely. If you had another two left justices on top of that, that would essentially say the executive branch under a Democrat could do anything it damn well please. He, he is lying. He is lying when he says uh, they have no statutory authority. The law requires employers to provide their employees with working conditions that are free of known dangers. It's a very broad mandate to assure safe and healthful working conditions for working men and women by authorizing enforcement of the standards developed under the act by assisting and encouraging the states in their efforts to assure safe and healthful working conditions by providing for research, information, education, training in the field of occupational health and safety. That's not the actual statute. But the statute is incredibly broad. It covers fucking vaccination. Yeah, you're right. Well, it was a big blow for Joe Biden yesterday, but it's not the only... Listen thing. listen to what you're saying, Mr. Lemonkey. You're saying that because people wouldn't get tested, you, just, you didn't have to get vaccinated, you could just get tested to make sure that you weren't passing around a deadly pathogen. You're saying that it would cause business to fire people. You're an idiot! You're an idiot! It was a testing mandate that you could opt out of by getting vaccinated. And if people got fired because they wouldn't get tested, they're idiots! They're fucking idiots. Let them get fired. That's like healthcare workers have to get vaccinated. And you know what I say to anybody who gets fired because uh, they weren't vaccinated? Good. They shouldn't be a healthcare worker. They're fucking idiots. So, good riddance. Fuck you people who are stupid. Do you think we're stupid? Experience yesterday fools. or this week. It's been one of the worst weeks, if not the worst week of his presidency, except for maybe Afghanistan. But let's go over some of the things that happened this week that uh, weren't good for him. The CDC fact checks liberal justices pu- pushing. Uh, they the keep bringing that up. 
the CDC. Finding a COVID test is really hard. Record cases across the country, hospitals reaching capacity, POTUS pivots to voting rights with a speech even members of his own party panned. Stacey Abrams didn't show up for that event in Georgia, in her own state, on her own issue. Inflation hits a four-decade high. Cons I, you couldn't have done, you couldn't have done that, Merkin. Like, the way it was laid out was the only way you can do it the, with constitutional Harris. authority. Harris mocked for that rough TV interview yesterday. POTUS stumbles through the teleprompter at the COVID event and asks for the czar's name. He didn't even know his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could get tested weekly. Do you think that's unreasonable, you stupid fuck? If you think getting tested weekly for a fucking deadly pathogen during a pandemic is unreasonable, you're an absolute fucking idiot. Absolute moron. So you would you would get fired over the fact that you wouldn't take a fucking COVID test. Satan, welcome. Glad to have you as a freaking follower. Hulk rag. Welcome, Hulk rag. Admits voting rights bill will likely fail as Senator Cinema takes on the floor before he arrives even at the Hill to talk to her about it. Senator Manchin tells reporters that he hasn't talked to the president since before Christmas and that there is no uh, renegotiation of the Build Back Better. SCOTUS knocks down the vaccine mandate for private businesses over 100 employees. National Security Advisor Yes, that, no the government has done a piss poor Russia job Russia of making Russia testing Russia. available. And then two more things. <laughs> right, two more things. North Korea fires fresh. But here, okay. Okay, here's their thing is they didn't want to go through the uh, uh, Defense Authorization Act. That's that's the whole thing. They didn't want to force companies to do it. Because Joe Biden is bought and paid for by the financial industries and shit. They want to do what is what is most financially sound for businesses. He didn't want to. He didn't want to use his power to force companies to manufacture tests and get them out to Americans for free because this is a greedy goddamn country. Missiles that are lashing out over our U.S. sanctions. The third round of those. DHS announces 104,000 migrants between March. I from on January 21st. They were like, "This is a failed presidency. This is, Biden is horrible." Blah 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 blah. To, to read it, it has been nonstop attacks, and not not that Biden has been. What's your reaction? And that's the thing, because he's talking about authoritarian. He's on there hawking a book about authoritarian government. They're acting like fucking Joe Biden has done all these things that have made the country worse. He's just been ineffectual. He 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 has been a non-issue. He's been non-effective in any way. So what are they talking about, this tyrannical government? It's nonsense to me. And some dude today was like, open borders. And I'm like, what open borders? You people just make shit up. It's like how they're like, uh, nobody was prosecuted for the protests in 2020. What are you talking about? Which incident wasn't prosecuted? Tell me which incident you think wasn't prosecuted. And I'll probably show you a white supremacist group that was charged with it, you stupid fuck. Metalcore! Well, nobody was forced to... Mr. LeMonkey, nobody was forced to vaccinate. You didn't have to take a vaccination. You could get tested. That's what I'm saying. That's why you're stupid. Do you see what I'm saying? If you got fired because you wouldn't take a test every week, you're just a fucking idiot. I, I don't understand what's so hard to understand about that. Why are you people so fucking stupid? Nobody was forcing vaccinations. Who was forcing vaccination? Nobody. Nobody was forcing vaccination. But here's Ben Shapiro in 2015, knowing the importance of herd immunity. Spent the day watching my fully vaccinated 13-month-old cough until a blue with pertussis because others didn't get vaccinated. Thanks, dolts. What reality are you talking about, you stupid fuck? You're the one not living in reality. Nobody was forced to get vaccinated.
I don't, I don't know what to tell you. And stop listening to people like Ben Shapiro. He's just trying to sell t-shirts. Why do you not get that? What is, what is going on in your head that you don't see what's happening? They're playing you. Ben Shapiro is vaccinated. Everybody on the goddamn screen is vaccinated. All these people right here have a vaccine mandate at their workplace. The Biden administration didn't force anything. It was get tested or be vaccinated. How many times do we have to say it? Will you stop being an idiot? Fuck. Oh, shit. I mean, Joe Biden's presidency has fallen and it cannot get up. He, he has a serious problem on his hands. He, he came into now that's true. What Shapiro is saying there is true. Keep. One is that you could spend your way out of a problem that did not exist, namely the economic recovery that was going to take place regardless of how much money we spent. And he inflated the economy beyond its capacity. Now we have massive inflation. And the second promise he made is that the government yeah, massive inflation. Quote, shut down the virus. It was a lie when he told it. He continues to maintain that lie. And he has boxed. And I love, I love how the monetary policy we're living through right now is 100% Trump. And they're blaming Biden for it. I can, sh- I can show you the blogs from 2019 where right-wingers were talking about how Trump's trade wars caused inflation to rise. Now, there are certain inflationary things that are completely out of the control of the president or anything having to do with the U.S. economy. It's happening all over the world. But Trump triggered inflation with his soybean war, his tariff on steel and lumber. There's all kinds of fucking issues. But then they also want to blame Biden for the fact that people won't get vaccinated and that Republicans are just like flaunting how stupid they are and they're dying at much higher numbers than Democrats now. So it's Republicans sacrificing themselves just to own fucking Joe Biden. It's the craziest goddamn thing. I've never seen anything like it. The Republican Party literally has turned into a death cult. A fucking death cult. Of this. Holy you know, shit. Of his own making. He could control the border if he wanted to, but he doesn't want to control the border. He can't control the virus because no one can control the virus. He could leave the economy alone and just let it grow, but he can't do that either. He has created this box and now he cannot get out of it. And so he's railing at the wind and shouting at the clouds like Grandpa Simpson and trying to convince everybody that the seven in ten Americans who don't like him must be segregationists. No wonder this guy is so unpopular. Ben. The fact is, he's got the job for three more years. We're hostage to it. If you are him, and we watch Bill Clinton pivot, we've watched other presidents pivot, uh, and you go back in history, it's all, it constantly happens. So Bill Clinton actually recommended to him, go back with Bill Back Better, pick two things you want and reintroduce it. And he goes, pull back. So if you're him, you got to... Bernie Bernie Sanders is determined to bring individual uh, pieces of legislation... Whoever sent him to Capitol Hill while Senator Sinema was on the floor has to be fired. They are... His staff is as inept as his speeches. So where do you go from here with three more years? I mean, the biggest problem for Joe Biden is that, forget his staff... Joe Biden, his entire image was that he was gentle, empathetic grandpa. And then he allowed Afghanistan to fall to 8th century cavemen and got 13 American service members killed and left hundreds of Americans behind. And that image was gone. And then- Once again, other countries have praised it as a logistical success. That, that, pulling out of Afghanistan is the best thing Joe Biden has ever done in his career, in my opinion. Taking the hit in public opinion because what happened with Afghanistan was going to happen no matter who fucking pulled the trigger on it. So, thank you, Joe Biden, on that one. And I will will praise you for what you deserve to be praised for. And then he decided that he was going to call everyone who disagreed with him on federalization of all voting procedure a segregationist or a slaveholder. And now it's really gone. His image has been so tarnished at this point that I don't think that he can he can pivot to the center. He has never called anybody a segregationist or a slaveholder. That's called a straw man fallacy. The right is so fond of that. Joe Biden has lost that. And once you lose it, I'm not sure. Because once again, the Matt Walsh clip of me 
He made up a straw man argument. He did not respond to what I said in the video. He responded to what he thought I said or some shit. I didn't accuse him of not properly crediting his illustrator. I said that the illustrator was the one that did all the work. And that Matt Wallace probably spent 10, 15 minutes. Maybe longer because he's fucking dumb. Writing his little children's book. Regain it. We're doomed. You know, Ben, ultimately, I think a lot of people who voted for Joe Biden uh, have buyer's remorse. And now, fast forward to the close to the end of his first year in office, people are going, now, why did we pick him again? And it was because he ran as a moderate. But once he got into office, then suddenly the leftists in his party and the people he installed in the White House pulled him so far to the left. You I trolls enjoy uh, some ads. Into the lane where he ran. Make a little uh, money off of you while you're here. Win re-election, but I think certainly his poll numbers would go up because I think a lot of people, you know, they're they're smacked in the face with the inflation and everything else and it hits them all day bad decisions by this they do they have for, for, freudian slips all the time the grocery store whether i'm at the gas station whether i'm wearing a mask somewhere all day ben yeah no, i agree with that i mean listen he, he made a historic political blunder by deciding to move to his left in an attempt to be lbj or fdr when he had 50 senators plus move to his left Move to his left. To do the Bernie Sanders routine. How in the fuck did he move to his left? Somebody explain that one to me. Here, here's the commie shit. Here's the red baiting again. How did Joe Biden move to his left? They just make assertions. They never provide supporting evidence. Why I get so frustrated with right wingers? What are you talking about? If anything, he did the same thing Obama did and talked from the left and governed from the right. It was amazing. He beat Bernie Sanders because he was not Bernie Sanders, and then he allowed Bernie Sanders to body snatch him, and suddenly he was doing Bernie Sanders' agenda. Well, that was never going to that was never going to be a success. The only way Bernie Sanders' agenda was a seven trillion dollar bill that would have absolutely been a success, and people would have felt that in their lives. Of, of being a historic president and just goes back to being what he was theoretically supposed to be, which was a caretaker president exactly. who was just not going to be Trump. I mean, that was essentially his pitch. I'm a dead guy who's not Trump. And it kind of worked, but it turns out that as much as he may be close to not being alive. Unfortunately, it only worked because there's still so many people. I was editing for a podcast and it was like these, they were all Democrats. They were yuppies, probably baby boomers, maybe late Gen Xers. And they were all, one was a lawyer, one was a, like a, a, a high-level doctor at a hospital. Uh, fuck it, I can't remember what the other two did. But they had these roundtable discussions. And they absolutely hated Bernie Sanders. And it's, it's that contingency of older people that still get their news from a mainstream source that probably grew up on Red Scare propaganda. That's the reason why we have Joe Biden. That's the only reason we have Joe Biden. The people wanted Bernie Sanders. <laughs>